work with right. this one here. Okay. Uh, which of the following interventions is most likely to improve this patient's liver function? Okay. 55 year old man, history of type 2 diabetes, obesity, presents to his PCP, routine checkup, his liver function test reveals elevated ALT and AST. Patient denies any history of alcohol consumption. An ultrasound shows diffuse hyperechogenicity. Which of the following interventions most likely improve? Okay. Administrative administration of this, like I saw this this the other day. Your your so deoxycholic acid, initiation of interferon therapy, prescription of statin, refer for liver transplant, weight loss, uh, lifestyle modification. So it sounds like if his liver functions, if he has type 2 diabetes, obesity, in, increased ALT, increased AST, no alcohol. I'm thinking like the most common on differential would be like non-alcoholic fatty liver, um, something like that. I don't know if I know what to do for something like this. It shows the hyper echogenicity. Um which I think that means it's like scarring or um, it's funny because we had someone like this a, two, a few weeks ago and they said, I remember them saying if they don't drink alcohol, they go on like the liver transport list immediately. Um, but I don't know if there's enough information in this scenario to do that. Um, he is at his PCP. It's not like he's acutely ill in the hospital or something. I don't know. I saw that com that uh, in like part A. I saw that the other day. I just don't know what that does off the top of my head. Okay. Um, interferon therapy doesn't. I'm not thinking that it's like one of those. When I see interferon therapy, I think of like either MS or I think of even I think uh, TB. I think you can do some interferon therapy, something like that. So I wouldn't not thinking that. Statins, I'm thinking of, you know, hypertension and hyperlipidemia, stuff like that. Uh, referral for liver transplant, I like. Weight loss and, modific and lifestyle modification is never a bad idea, but it doesn't seem like he's coming in. Um, I mean, he does have obesity. Um, so I guess my question to... for you is, how sure. bad do you think, is is he is he really, really sick or is he not sick? I don't think he's, I don't think he's like a sick, like he's, I don't think he's presenting acutely sick because he's going to his PCP okay. and he has these issues. So it's almost sure. like weight loss and lifestyle. Like, and I know we talk about this sometimes with these, you know, USMLE style questions. They're going to go for like cheap and easy fast because that, you know, it's the medical system that we're in. So sure. in a way, like weight loss and lifestyle makes sense if you could try to recover this, although the hyper- Echogenicity, I don't know how much you can improve by just lifestyle modifications. But yeah, I, I would go for that because I'm not super confident on where this question is. What this yeah, yeah. So from. so when you look at this, right, he might have fatty fatty liver, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go for liver transplant unless someone's having like liver failure, right? And um, Right. Like an acute like downgrade, right? Like that's when you... Yeah. I just remember them saying that they go right on the list. Like if they're if they're in critical care that they and they don't drink, that they go right on the liver list. Yeah, like, so, like, so oh, yeah, okay. yeah. When you have fatty liver and you're like acutely having like you know liver failure, then you know that is something that's reasonable, right? But in this case, okay. right, you know this patient, you know, um, non fatty, but you know he he's still healthy. He's not you know jaundice. He's not mm -hmm. you know he's not having like really bad liver cirrhotic cirrhotic symptoms, right? then you can do weight loss and lifestyle modification right now. Okay. Um, you know, you, uh, you're so derelic acid usually used for primary ability cholangitis, right. And interferon, okay. right. Uh, interferon therapy is usually hep B. Or oh, C. Hep, oh, heps. Okay. Yep. Um, statins right. actually, um, you know, it can help with this. Oh, right. But you know, it's not going to. I was thinking really hypertension too and other things. Yeah. And then liver transplant, right? That's in stage liver uh, disease. Okay. Right? So, you know, you don't want to okay. kind of think too fast on that. So always go when you're thinking about management. Like you said, you know, you wanna you wanna go from the bottom up and escalate, right? So don't go right. all the way. Kind of be like, all right, time to time to replace liver transplant. Liver. Right. So, That's pretty extreme. And okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly.